Hi everyone, welcome to Artistic Digitizer and Tool Spotlight. I'm Embroidery Software Specialist, Ann Hine. Today we're going to cover working with the Array Fill Tool. This is where you can take a shape and you can take a design or another shape and fill it into that first shape. So let's get started. Let me close a few things here to get us ready. And I'll open my software, there we are. Now I'm gonna to go to create new and start with a fresh page. The first thing I wanna show you is putting uh, a design inside lettering. So I'm gonna click over here. I could stay in the center, but I like to see my little cursor there sometimes. So I move it to one side. I'm going to type in just the letter A and I am using a rather uh, chunky font and that's what I really wanna do. I'm gonna turn off my tool and have my letter selected. And then I'm just gonna make it as big as this hoop allows like that. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna center it in my hoop and then I'm gonna create my shape to fill it. So over here, I'm gonna use shapes. Let me make a tiny little circle, maybe like that. And I'll make it a solid. And then I'm gonna bring it just closer and I'll hit shift, select my letter. And in properties under fill, I wanna make sure I have fill selected, I'm going to select array. And there it is right in there. And I could use a shape, I could use a little design, really anything. I have different ways that they fall into there, rectangular or circular, or we'll stay with shape fit. And then I can change the spacing. So I can make the spacing horizontal spacing different and the vertical spacing different. I can change the angle of those rows. So it may look a little more like a mixed up instead of rows of um, dots more mixed up. I could add an outline um, to this if I wanted to go to outline, satin serial and change this maybe to 4.0 mm. So I have a little bit wider uh, border on there. So there it is that way. So you can do a lot of things with this. So it's kind of a fun thing to do. I could make these multicolored if I go in here um, under fill and select separate to objects, then it would make them individual pieces and I could select them one by one and change it. I have done that before when I've created like a whole hoop of fabric when I wanted to create my own embroidered fabric, really fun to do. Let me show you another thing that you can do with it. Using a shape, I'm going to use a circle here and I'm going to bring it to the center. I may have to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, I do. So it'll fit in there. Let's just, there we go, and make it fit in the center. All right, I'm going to take a design and just put it on the outside of my shape here. And what I want to do is go back up to tools. I do love the clip art library, insert clip art. And I'm gonna look for a butterfly. And I like this one here. And these are all, you know, click and drag. So I'm gonna click and drag and I'll make it about that big. There we go. It's selected. I'll select my shape. And this time I'm gonna go to the outline. So I'm gonna select outline and array. And it puts my butterfly on the outline. I'm gonna click off of it. And I'm going to delete my fill, I believe. Let's see here. There it is. And I'll delete the one we had. So now I have these nice butterflies like that. Let me bring them more towards the center of my hoop area so you can see what's going on. I am outside my hoop. I'm okay with that. I'm going to go back to properties and select. I'm going to select this by color. Let's see here, there we go. And in my properties under outline, I have uh, item rotation and spacing. So I can work on which way they're rotating like that. Uh, I could change the spacing so they're further apart or closer together. I could put them on the inside or the outside of the line like that, depending on what I need to do. Maybe I want them inside and then, and they'll adjust the spacing. So let's put them closer together. They'll add them if they need them. Now they're sort of intertwined in there. 
So there you go. You can make some really pretty designs. And that is bigger than my hoop. So I can bring that down and center it. There we go. So I have this pretty design there. This does make a really pretty design going around there. This would be a pretty one to stitch out for the spring. I'm going to show you one more today. So let's go to a new page. Now you can make a shape. I'm just going to make a, a circle here like this again, and I'll center it. You can put multiple designs in your hoop as well. So under my tools, clip art library, and you could bring in, if you have little designs that you like, you could bring those in as well. Um, but you can scroll through here and find, you know, your favorite ones. You can type in search words if you want, uh, things like that. I do like this little guy. So I'm going to insert him. I'll put him over here like that. I'm going to go back and get another one. I think I'm going to get three different ones and bring those in so I can show you how to work with multiples in the hoop. So we'll do this little guy too. He's cute. There we go. And we'll find one more in here. Let's say, I don't know. Cake, that would be good. Let's see what we have here. Something, well, we could put just even just a curl. It doesn't really have to be you know, there we go. So we'll see how that one works. Go back up here. There we go. Let's select those like that. And then I'm going to select my circle and I want them on the inside. So I'm doing fill and array and there they go. I'm in shape fit. I probably need to change my um, horizontal and vertical spacing. So I get a few more in there. There they come. That's too many. There we go. Let's get these in there. Let's change my angle. That'll help. And more on the spacing. Let's see here. Might be going in the wrong direction. There we go. So you can also use your circular here. Oh, that's contour. Sorry, hit contour circular. So they're more inside. And you can change your step count is how many rows of these there are. And we can put the item rotations in, start angles, things like that. So that will change how many you have in there at one time. Your offset, if you want it to be more inside or out, outside, let's go this way. There we go. So they're all inside of there. And then when you get done, if you want to, you can separate the objects and so you have individual objects. Depending on your location of your items, see how they're located here. And then I don't have as many of the other ones. If I do this slightly differently, bring them closer together, then put, then put them in my shape, that would work as well. So if we select this, I can also make my shape bigger like this and it's going to fill in my shape. See how it's filling the shape in as I go. Let's put it over here so it's out of the, so we can see it better. So here you can see if I did spacing. There we go. There's my horizontal spacing. All right. So that gives you three different ways to use the array fill whether you're using it on an outline or as a fill with a letter or with a shape. And you can put it in your designs as well. When you select a portion of your design, as long as it has an outer limit, then you will be able to uh, place other designs within there using the array fill tool. We'll come back and use the rectangular and circular array at another time. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to share your makes to our page. We love to see what you're doing. And we'll see you another day. Thank you. Bye-bye.